What is up, Fishaholics? Rich J here in Montauk, New York at the Montauk Lighthouse parking lot. And today's video is going to be a special announcement video of the Fishaholic Twisty Tube. And you may have heard me mention this Fishaholic Twisty Tube in other prior videos. And you can actually check out this video here in the top left corner of me catching some fish on the Twisty Tube and as well as the bottom left corner. And there are also various other videos of me putting the Fishaholic Twisty Tube to the test and catching some nice bass. And the Fishaholic Twisty Tube has been field tested for nine years up and down the East Coast and especially in Montauk where it actually was invented where I first made the first Twisty Tube. But throughout the nine years I've passed them out and some good friends of mine have put them to the test from Massachusetts to New Jersey and have caught some very impressive fish trolling the Fishaholic Twisty Tube. And now throughout the remainder of the video I'm basically just going to go over the two different models of the Fishaholic Twisty Tube and the three different colors that are available and as well as I'm just basically going to go over the two different ways I like to rig the Fishaholic Twisty Tube basically based on depth and as well as I'm basically going to go over the type of setup that you can fish with and I'm going to go over my setup that I troll the Fishaholic Twisty Tube with. The two models that are offered currently right now on eBay.com are the 16 inch model and the 20 inch model. They are all hand assembled. I actually even hand pour the lead to make the head and I even hand dye the amber latex to give it the red and green coloring. Now the three different colors that are available are the solid green, solid red, and the red dip to green. Now the Fishaholic Twisty Tube is specifically made for kayak trolling or trolling from a boat, but if you're a surf caster, the good news is, is I also have a six inch model that I created way back, probably six or seven years ago, for light tackle surf casting in backwater areas or for light tackle uh, fishing from a kayak or boat, which straight up hammers false albacore, bonita, bluefish, and striped bass. And in a, in a coming video this month, that tube is going to be announced and it's going to be shown. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you know when I announce the availability of that six inch casting twisty tube. Now, basically, let me just show you the two ways that I like to light tackle rig my Fishaholic Twisty Tubes and the rules don't really apply for these two rigs if you are going to be fishing from a boat with wire trolling line. But first off let me go over the first rig that I like to use when I'm fishing 15 feet of water or shallower and I like to use the tube as its own weight and basically I use a five to six foot section of 30 pound to 50 pound blue label Seaguar fluorocarbon leader tied to a 100 pound test barrel swivel or greater and then basically on the other end I would attach my main line, usually my 50 pound test Green Moss Power Pro braid. And I usually tie direct with that leader to that twisty tube. The next rig that I use is basically for 15 feet of water or deeper, and especially here off Montauk Lighthouse when you have really strong currents, and that is basically using a Thunder Mist T-turn swivel from Ramsey Outdoor Store in New Jersey, which then I actually attached a clip here, which then I usually clip on a two ounce to actually eight ounces of weight depending on the depth from 15 feet to 40 or 60 feet of water. And then I use a 60 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon leader, five to six feet of it tied direct to my 16 or 20 inch Fishaholic Twisty Tube. Let me just give you a little bit closer look here of the Thunder Mist T-Turn Swivel. And this is a 120 pound T-Turn Swivel. And this is actually one of the heaviest, I believe, that they make. They're, they're a new product from Ramsey Outdoor Store, and you can check them out in the link in the description. And I strongly recommend using these to attach your weight for trolling the Fishaholic Twisty Tube or for just trolling a weight in general. If you're fishing especially in deep water, especially off Montauk Lighthouse where there's some deep water and really extremely fast current. And the T-Turn Swivel here didn't come with this clip, but I decided to attach the clip to use it as a way to switch on and off my weights. And this here is a five ounce weight, but if I was fishing 15 to 25 feet of water, say, depending on the current, I would hook on a two ounce sinker right here, if I can get it on. And that should get me down into the strike zone and be plenty of weight to uh, get me down by those bass or blues, whichever species you're targeting. But if I'm fishing 25 feet or, or deeper, you know, usually I'm gonna be using anywhere from four ounces or heavier. This is a five ounce sinker right here. And that should get me down near the bottom into the strike zone and it should help me get more bites depending on whether I'm targeting striped bass or bluefish. Finally guys, let's just go over the tackle setup that I recommend for fishing the Fishaholic Twisty Tube. And the main tool that I use for trolling my tubes or just trolling in general out off my kayak is a Pen 320 GT bait casting reel rigged with 50 pound test Green Moss Power Pro braid as my main line, 
which then I would usually tie direct with this braided line, either to my Thunder Mist T-Turn Swivel or my 100 pound test or greater swivel if I'm just going to be fishing the tube alone. And the rod that I'm currently using, that I've been using for the last few years, is a Mega Master Black Gold bait casting boat rod, medium heavy, seven foot, 40, uh, 15 to 40 pound test line, butt through handle construction. And this is my main tool, like I said, and you probably can get away with a lighter tackle setup if you're just gonna be trolling the tube alone. But if you're gonna be trolling with the Thunder Mist T-Turn Swivel, you know, and you're gonna be fishing deep water with, you know, two to say six ounces of weight, you're gonna need a stiffer boat rod to troll these tubes effectively. But if you're just gonna be trolling that tube, I could, rec I could recommend that you probably could pick up, you know, any fishing rod, spinning or bait casting between seven and eight feet, medium heavy, and that'll probably get the job done for trolling the tube alone from behind a kayak or from behind a boat, um, you know, trolling your lure. Now, a, a big question that I get all the time is speed. Speed is a huge factor when trolling the twisty tube or just a tube in general. And here's a quick look at the twisty tube swimming under the water. And you want your tube to be swimming under the water and it has to look exactly like this or it's not swimming right and you're not gonna catch any fish. Basically, a good way to know that that tube is swimming properly is basically just put that tube out to the side of you in the water and make sure it's swimming exactly like this here in this little clip. And if it's swimming like that, you're good to go. Maintain that speed and you should be good to go and on your way to be catching some big fish. So guys, I hope you guys are ready to uh, put some of these Fishaholic Twisty Tubes to the test and catch some massive striped bass and bluefish on them. So thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the links in the description for all the tackle that is in this video, such as the Fishaholic Twisty Tubes and the Thunder Mist T-Turns. And all the links are in the description. Like I said, if you have any more questions, just post a comment in the comment section below. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live. I'll see you guys out on the water or out in Montauk because I'm going to be out here all season. Come by the 80K Sport Fishing Boat. I'll probably be there. Come by and say hi. I'll see you guys out on the water otherwise. Tight lines.